There's a lot of knowledge on this list, so please check out all these great YouTubers and you will, as I did, learn a lot from them. Hey everyone, I'm here today to finally unveil my FDM printing profile for miniatures. I think this is the best uh, miniature profile out there for the standard 0.04 millimeter, not 0.4 millimeter nozzle, sorry. Um, everyone's been using the FDG uh, profile, which is a great profile. I'm in no way knocking that profile. I think Tom Tullis and his team or has been working on it, they did a great job. I always build my work on the backs of giants and Tom Tullis is you know, a pioneer in this area. So I'm happy to have been working for six months though, tweaking, testing uh, things on my FDM printer. And I'm gonna show you a lot of pictures and a lot of close-ups so you can see. I think the, the key takeaways from my profile are, one, slightly better quality. I'm not gonna say a lot better quality because that FDG profile is great. Slightly better quality, I believe, but more importantly, for that slightly better quality, or even if you just think it's the same quality, it's anywhere from 30 to 45% faster, which is a huge difference in, you know, we're trying to print out a lot of stuff for D&D or for whatever it is, obviously if you can print 30 to 40% faster and get the same results, why wouldn't you? So anyway, uh, I don't wanna waste more time you know, blabbing at you, let's dive right into the video. Um, you can find uh, this profile linked in the uh, description here. Um, I think also Danny at 3D Printed Tabletop said he's going to link it uh, on his site and maybe in one of his videos as well. And if you're in the Facebook group, uh, 3D Printed Tabletop, you'll be able to find it there. I'm going to post it. And uh, also, uh, that's probably about it, actually. And if I can, I'll link it to my YouTube page. I'm not sure if I even know how to do that, but I'll try. So anyway, I don't want to waste any more time. Let's jump right into this profile. Thanks. So here we have um, a goblin from Duncan Shadow Luca, a goblin bomber, which is a great model. Uh, and you can see I've sliced it in the official Fat Dragon Games profile. And you can see that's going to take uh, one hour and 43 minutes. And it's going to produce fantastic results. I'm going to show you pictures. Uh, this is a great profile. Remember, I am not knocking the Fat Dragon Games profile. Mine's basically a tweak upgrade to that profile. So here you see... Uh, my profile and my profile is at only 0.08 millimeter layer height so it's a little bit uh, lower layer height so it should take a lot longer but if you look it's only one hour and 16 minutes so even at a 0.08 instead of the 0.1 of the fat dragon games this is 30 minutes faster basically so almost, almost one third faster it's pretty incredible now let's look at the results so mine is on the left fat dragon games is on the right uh, this is uh, f uh, approximately looking at the model from say uh, a foot away, and they both look amazing. You'd you'd love to have either of these on your tabletop. They from this distance, it's almost resin quality. Now let's zoom in. Now we're going to go under the microscope. So basically, you know, from about a centimeter away, obviously on FDM you can see layer lines. And again, these are clearly labeled. Mine's on the left. FDG is on the right. Both look fantastic. Uh, you can see there's some little discrepancy, so let's zoom in to certain areas and take a look. So let's look at the chest area here, and you can see, mostly because mine's just a lower layer height, you can see that it looks a lot smoother and a lot less uh, topographical map looking-ish there. And again, this is super duper close, you might never notice with your naked eye. Let's check out another part. Let's look here at the, at the right eye, and again, I think just because of the layer height difference, you can see that the his left eye, the one on our right that circled, is a little smoother on my profile, I feel. Uh, now let's go look at the nose. So the nose came out great on both of them, but again, and it's supposed to be flat. That's It's flat on both of these because it is flat on the model, by the way. But I think the, the one on mine just has less layer lines because it's a lower layer height. And then from there, we're going to look at three different spots. So you see the forearm. I believe that my profile you know, just came out a little smoother again because of layer heights. And same thing with, with the toes and the feet. If you look, uh, I think mine looks a little better. Now from the back, and again, this is from uh, the equivalent of about a foot away. Again, they both look incredible. You'd be more than happy to have either of these on your tabletop, I think. I'm sure you would. And now let's zoom way in. Now remember, I haven't done cleanup on these except for removing supports because I don't want to alter the model. So you can see some, there's a little dust specks and some little stuff that can be scraped off easily. But let's, let's pick some certain areas to look at. So let's look at the strap up here. And I think the strap on mine came out just a tiny, tiny little bit cleaner. You know, not much, just a little bit better. And then from there, we're going to look at 
the right, the top, right top part of the goggle here. And you can see because I'm at 0.08 millimeter layer height, even though mine prints 30% faster, it gives you a smoother finish because it's a lower layer height. So you're saving time and I think getting a better finish. Now let's look at the left side. And I think you can see the same thing in evidence here that just the lower layer height just looks a little better. But you're still printing faster, and that's why I think my profile is what should be used. Now we're going to look at a Minotaur model from Duncan Shadow Luca. Under the FDG profile, you can see it's 9 hours and 12 minutes. Now using my profile, you can see the exact same model at 0.08 millimeter layer height is only 6 hours and 30 minutes. So you're saving 3 hours on that 9 hour print. So you are, you are saving 33% of the time. Or if you look at it from the six hour version, uh, the Fat Dragon game profile takes 50% longer, basically. So, well, how does it come out? Again, mine's on the left, FDG is on the right. From this distance, which again, equivalent to about a foot, foot and a half away, they both look absolutely incredible to me. Um, no difference at all, basically, at this distance, uh, except that mine printed four hours faster. So that is a big difference. Now let's zoom all the way in. Again, obviously, mine on the left, FDG on the right. I think in the mouth area, mine came out a little better. On the horns, it's weird. The top side of mine didn't come out as good, but the bottom side of the FDG one didn't come out as well. So some weird, if you compare these across, there's, there's a couple areas where it looks like actually my profile came out a little better, and then a couple other areas where the FDG profile actually looked like it might have come out better. So even if you think these are, you know, dead equal, uh, mine prints out at a 0.08 millimeter layer height you know, 30% faster. And if you change the settings, by the way, to 0.1, so that they have equal layer heights, the Minotaur in my profile only takes five hours. So it'll save you four hours on that print. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, the speed difference is incredible. So if you want to use mine at 0.08 like I do, or you can adjust that part to 0.1, and then you'll, you'll, you'll be printing, you know, almost 45% faster in general. The other thing that I didn't show here, I didn't film myself doing support removal. My support removal settings are also different from FDG. My support removal, my support settings themselves. So support removal is actually a little easier um, with my settings than the FDG profile. So please, everyone test this out. Give me feedback. I really want to know how this works for everybody. I know everyone's machines are different, but I'm hoping this works you know, better for everybody. And for terrain, Keep these same settings, you know, just use my exact same profile and just make it 0.1 or 0.12. And you'll get, at 0.12, you'll get a better quality than with the FDG terrain profile, which is at 0.2, but it'll take the exact same amount of time, basically. So anyway, please like this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Hope you guys learned something. And I'm just out here trying to improve things for the community. So again, everyone, please give me lots of feedback on how this profile works for you and hope to see you all again soon. Thanks.